now entering her seventh decade, two-time Academy Award winner Jane Fonda has been around long enough to offer some sage advice to Hollywood newcomers, such as Georgia Rule co-star Lindsay Lohan. It was never as hard during in my time as it is for her. I think, number one, it's important for a young celebrity like that to know that you got to have more in your life than celebrity, because celebrity doesn't last, and then you'll be left with nothing. And the other thing is, it's not a dress rehearsal, you know, this is life, and, and you know, if you blow it, you may not get another chance. Jane won her first Oscar playing a prostitute in 1971's Clute. She won another seven years later for coming home. Head of her own production company, many of her films have reflected her political views. And her 1980 feminist comedy 9 to 5 still resonated with audiences 25 years on. It makes me real happy that it's had this kind of life. You know, it's, I mean, it doesn't surprise me, but um, I talk to a lot of... I, young people, I work with young people in Georgia where I live, and um, they love the movie. You know, they, they learn to look at it because of their parents, and it's a favorite movie of a lot of young people. So that makes me feel good that it's, it's held up like that. After revolutionizing the home video industry with her aerobics workout and divorcing cable TV tycoon Ted Turner, she returned to movies playing J-Lo's monster-in-law. Next, she stepped up to the role of grandmother and found Georgia Rule's tough subject matter deeply touching. I felt some of the same things that I felt while I was, makes me emotional, when I was, when I was doing on Golden Pond, you know. It's about healing and forgiveness where there's been dysfunction and don't we all know about dysfunction? <laughs> so it's quite universal. But Jane's return to Hollywood has not led to a drop-off in her extracurricular activities. As well as calling on the Mexican government to act in ending violence against women, she has also visited India to campaign for improvements in living conditions of city slums. She's also written an autobiography. And as a much more glamorous sideline, She's been lending her face to a range of age-defying products by cosmetics giant L'Oreal.